We'll start with Denny Carter. What do you want to see? Which prospect do you want to see end up where on draft weekend, Denny? Yeah, uh, so this is not me advocating for this to happen, but I think it would be cool for fantasy pretty much. That's, that's That was kind of my criteria here. Um, Dolphins drafting Jameer Gibbs. Uh, and I say that because... You know, Gibbs is good, first of all, and and we've we've been we've been through that. I I, I do have um, a few little nuggets here. Uh, Gibbs is uh, yards per route run was among the highest, and uh, his career yards per route run was among the highest in recent college history. He was fourth in yards per route run uh, last season among all college backs, 80, 80th percentile breakaway percentage. Anyway, the Dolphins were were actually like pretty efficient on the ground last year, despite having Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson as their primary rushers. They were 13th in EPA per rush on the season and 10th in EPA per rush in the second half of the season. That was when Tua was mostly back in the lineup after uh, his concussion issues early in the season. So uh, I I don't think that Jameer Gibbs profiles as a guy who's going to come in and get 20 carries a game, but I also don't think he's the kind of fantasy producer who will require 20 touches in a game. And we've seen that happen with, with other backs where, um, you know, pro, I'm not comparing him to Alvin Kamara, but prime Alvin Kamara would get seven carries in a game and score 25 fantasy points. So mm-hmm. I, I, I kind of, I, I love, I would love to see a primary really electric back in that Mike McDaniel system. I think it'd be cool for fantasy. Yeah, we're now in a league that it, like knows what to do with the Jameer Gibbs. Where even like ten years ago, like just going back to the Duke Johnson days, they didn't know how to use right. these guys. Like, what the hell is like? They get out the manual. Like, it doesn't say <laughs> you never had a thousand yards in college. It doesn't say yeah. what to do with this kind of guy. And now they at least know what to do with like an Alvin Kamara with an Austin Eckler, where you can have more faith because he was never a bell cow in college. Doesn't ever profile as a bell cow in the NFL, but you can have faith that they actually will produce now that they actually will get used in ways that are especially beneficial in PPR leagues. Uh, everyone's really excited about Jameer Gibbs. Seems to be the consensus RB2, but Kyle, you want him to go somewhere different than Denny. Where is that? I want to see him go to the Bengals. I think, like, I, I know Denny pointed out a lot last year. Like, the Bengals essentially looked better with Samaj P. Ryan. And I don't think that's a product of Samaj P. Ryan being better than Joe Mixon. Like, maybe he's a slightly better pass catcher. He was actually a little bit worse in yards per route run. I doubt he's a better runner. Like he's kind of a coach's friend, but not actually the most efficient back. But the reason, obviously, that they looked better when they had Samaj P. Ryan on the field is because they were doing what I'm just going to call smart decision making, right? They were passing the football, like spreading it out more, playing more tempo when they had Samaj P. Ryan on the field. And I'm not sure Jameer Gibbs would be like, oh, we have Gibbs on the field. We have to play with more tempo. We have to play like more pass heavy. But it would maybe be the other direction that it's a sign that they actually understand how to score points, like that they should be chasing teams like the Bills, teams like the Chiefs, who when they're at their best, do not care in the slightest about running the football. They just don't. They know that the way to win football games is to score and score and score. And when you have a lead, you can keep your foot in your opponent's throat by scoring. I don't think Jameer Gibbs would convince them that's the right way. I think he would be a sign that they have convinced themselves that's the right way. And we see Zach Taylor go through spells of this where like he'll play a 10 game stretch where they're the highest pass rate over expected team. Then he kind of falls back into his old ways. I think right. maybe it would be sort of uh, an awakening or it would show that they've had sort of a coming to Jesus moment where they understand how to keep up with the best teams in the NFL. And Gibbs would one be a sign of that, but two, obviously he would play great in that. As Denny said, he's one of the best patch- pass catchers coming out. And if you're spreading defenses out and giving him light boxes, sure. He's a guy who's just, just sub 200 pounds. That's fine. If you're like, of course, you can't put deep defenders in the box. You can't put a bunch of guys in the box when you have, you know, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, even Tyler Boyd. Like, that's one of the best third receivers in the league. So he's going to get the more favorable spots as a runner and get to do his best as a pass catcher. So I'm not saying, like, Jameer Gibbs would make them a better team. It would be a sign that they know how to keep up with a team like the Chiefs. And he would crush it in those circumstances. So I think that would be such an incredible fit to see. Even if, like, of course, maybe it's not the best use of resources. But it, as Denny said, would be very fun. I, I think Dolphins would be a very fun spot. Bengals, too, would be one. Not a terrible pick. He's a very good player. And they're not going to have to spend an early first by any means on him. 
But it'd be a really fun spot to watch. The Bengals would have to use a first on him because they're not going to get him at like 58 yeah. or whatever where their second round pick is. And also interesting to have a conversation when Joe Mixon is still on the Bengals roster right now. Hey, it's Matthew Barry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.